Um, first of all, um, I'm Ben Natman, I'm joined by Fleetwood's head coach, John Sheridan. Thank you for joining me. Um, th first of all, how did it um, feel to first become a manager? Of Fleetwood? Or all, all together when you first... Um, yeah, well, I've been a player for a long time. Um, management or coaching wasn't really something I was looking at, but as I got um, into my latest stages of my career, uh, I started getting more interested in it. And lucky for me, I, I was still playing at Oldham at the time, and I got involved in the in the youth team. And things just gradually, gradually moved on. Took me badges, um, and eventually I got an opportunity of of. Uh, Managing Oldham, and, and I haven't, I haven't looked back since I've been a manager. I think just near around ten years now. So, very stressful job. Makes you go grey, makes you look old, but it's enjoyable when you're winning. Especially, it's very enjoyable. But um, now I slowly got into it just um, during probably the end of me me playing career. Brilliant. Um, um, you have saved Oldham twice, um, 2006, 15 to 16, and 16 to 17 last season. And you saved Plymouth, and you nearly saved for Fleetwood. What do you think it is about you that, like, helps to save teams who are not very confident? I think it's just being honest with them. A bit of man management. Usually, I'm a big believer in man management. Um, a lot of people talk about stats and what have you, and sometimes complicate the game for me but I'm a, I'm a big believer in man management um, I think if I've got any strength I think it's one of my strengths um, I think it's just how you treat players I think you treat people as well if, you, if they come in and you're honest with them and, and they enjoy coming into work um, I think it's a massive part obviously I've come in while the team's not after the team having a quite successful season last year things haven't gone their way this year and I've just come in and all managers are different I do. I try and do what I feel is right to, to get us out of the position we're in, and in the field of management, my man management skills and um, can help towards that. And the players get something different and feel as though they can trust you. I think it's, uh, it goes a long way for them to going out and performing for you. So, and luckily for me, things have worked out well in the first five games. Brilliant. Um, if you could give any, if you could give advice to any player who wants to go into management. What would it be? Don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> um, listen, when you love football, it's like I've played for a long time. I think it, when you go in after being a player, I think it's all the love. You just got, to, you've got a love for the game. I think if you don't want to be a manager and you don't want to be a coach, and after you've been a player, um, and I'm only talking on my part, it's, it's just being involved in the surroundings and the things, you, the perks you get with it. Obviously, if you're doing well, but. I think it's just a love of football um, and it's not just manager who've, just because you've been an ex-player but lots of managers have become managers without playing football so uh, you've got to have a desire and a love for the game and, and want to listen the main thing is you want to win trophies and be successful and uh, I think we all go in it for mostly the same same reason and um, if you're fortunate enough and you can win a few trophies you you know you get a bit of notice and people look at you and, and think you go on and manage in the Premiership and the Champions League. And, and then everything perfect. Yeah. Um, you played for the Republic of Ireland and you scored five times. How did it feel representing your country? Brilliant, yeah. Um, I love playing for Ireland. Some great, great days with Ireland. I was very lucky to uh, play with so many good players. I was actually born in Manchester. My parents are Irish, ah. both from Dublin. All the rest of my family are Irish. And, uh, Is that what qualified you? Yeah, I always, if I had a choice, I probably would have played for Ireland anyway. Not that England come knocking on the door, but um, Ireland were a very good team at the time. Jack Charlton was a manager. Uh, I was very lucky to play and be involved in around a successful era for Ireland, probably 10 years, if not longer. Played in, or I went to a Euro Championships and two World Cups and you no know, brilliant times. Um, had some really, really good players. But at the same time, the, uh, the Irish were, didn't take life too seriously. Uh, but we're always, we're always a good team, and and always quite successful in the tournaments we went to. Um, brilliant. Um, what feelings did you have when you became the Fleetwood Town management? Looking at the the facilities you've got, how did it first feel? Well, uh, yeah, um, obviously it's an opportunity for me. I, I totally respect that someone's given me a chance to manage the team, the chairman in the first place. Um, 
But I knew I've uh, I've only heard good things about Fleetwood from an, an outsider. Um, me coming here and obviously managing other teams and other people telling me, and obviously the surroundings, the training ground, you, you won't get much better. So, no, I'm very fortunate to get the opportunity to manage the club, and hopefully I can prove um, I'll be the right choice. And, and my main aim is to keep the keep the team in this division, which is really important. So we don't want to be getting relegated. We want to be staying in this league and and hopefully moving on for a for a better season next year. Um, you said about like the man management and being honest. Is that what you think you've brought in to help the players who were a bit down, losing games as you get into a routine of losing? Is that what you think you've brought in to give them a bit more confidence, a bit more of a lift? And I'd like to think so, yeah. That's not for me to say. I'm, uh, other people are probably better judge that, but I think if you're going by the results we've had, it, you know, it's working. So, listen, every manager's different. we all got our own ideas and... Um, we all think what what we do is right, and so I've just come in and I did something different. But a, a lot of a lot of credit goes to the players. You know, they responded me to coming in and and um, the things I do differently, whether it's formation or players or. But they're all working the socks off. I think the players know the importance of of us staying in the league. So they've responded really well to me coming in, and uh, like I say, we're not there yet. We're we're doing okay at this moment in time, but. Um, there's a long way to go, a lot of points to play for, and it's important we just look after ourselves and and, uh, and win as many games as quickly as we can and, and try and make life a little bit easier. We don't want it to be going to the last couple of games of the season, so we'll keep, if we keep doing and playing the way we are, we've got a good chance of doing that. Tactics-wise, it's what um, you've like brought players in which, like you said in your interviews, haven't been expecting to play in some players have expected to play and been on the bench or been left out. Um, do you have like, do you change it game by game, whatever happens in training? Like, because you've done a diff few different formations since you've done three five two with Ash Hunter Ash with Louis at wing backs, and you've done the four one four one at Charlton and the four four two. Is that one thing you're not frightened to change the route, like the tactics and the formation? Firstly, I think I'm going to have to give you a job or somewhere along the lines, are ah, you? You're very knowledgeable, very clever, and you're spot on in, in my tactics and what you've seen. And uh, it's a very good question. Um, no, I'm not frightened to change my system. I've sometimes um, I will go. I'll always do what I believe will get us the right result no matter who we're playing so um, and we have I have changed it the system a few times um, changed personnel played players probably players thinking they weren't going to be playing and they have played I like to keep them all on the toes I like all the players to feel that they've got a chance of playing um, and whatever I've done so far or whatever team I've picked or however we've played is getting the results which is, again, as I said before, is the most important thing. So things are working out. I'm sure if if I change the team and we lose again, people will probably look at and ask the question, why do you do that and why is he not playing? But at this moment in time, everything's going the way we want it to go and uh, I'm not frightened to change formation. I'm not frightened to change a winning team and I'll play who I feel will hopefully get us a result, whether I play the same team Friday against Wimbledon, um, we'll wait and see, but um, and then they've got a game Bristol Rovers, so I'm always looking and thinking about who the opposition are, but I, mostly I try and concentrate on Just on how we're going to play, yeah, I think it's important to concentrate on how we're going to play. So do you, would you play like a player that you think, oh, say if they're, they're going to be quite scrappy, we're going to need someone quite physical, would you think us, the most physical player and play them, or do you just focus the best team to get us the result, or... Do you, does the opposition come into hand ahead a bit? Yeah, the opposition. I do look at the opposition and I think how they're going to play. Um, and if they are going to be direct, do you need some height, a bit of height in there? Are they good at set plays? You know, um, have they got quick wingers? Do I need a quick fullback to play against him? But all them things go through my mind, like your thinking there. And uh, so, but like I say, I, I, try, I try to think about what we're doing and. Um, and we're doing okay at this moment in time, so I don't want to change too much about us. I want to concentrate, and because the lads are playing with a bit of confidence at this moment in time. So, uh, but I'll look at the situation, and like I say, whoever I pick will hopefully get us the right result. Is there any managers that you look up to that you, or do you just focus on you being the best that you can be? There's a lot of managers. I was very lucky to play under a lot of very good managers. Um, there's a lot of 
really good managers out there who are better than me so I, I've got to look up to most of them so but I think it's important you're just your own man like I've said to you before I think man management is a massive part of the game for me it is anyway and I always believed in a manager who probably you didn't know well there's two before your time Eddie Gray when I was at Leeds and Ron Atkinson are probably the best managers I played under and and their their big strengths for me was how they treated you as a person and as a player put a lot of belief in you and it's amazing it can make you feel a million dollars and you go out and you perform a lot better so um, they're probably the two managers if I had to look up to anybody it would be them two Brilliant. what would you say your best moment as a manager is now you've kept Oldham up here twice you've kept Plymouth up and took them to the playoffs um, but it, you, you lost in the playoffs what would, what would you say your best moment as a manager was I won the league at Chesterfield yeah. I won the cup at Chesterfield. You forgot that, didn't you? You're doing your own work or what? <laughs> no, um, I think um, I had one week. It was probably my best week as a manager. Luckily, I've, I've, I've had, listen, I've had relegations as well and I've lost my job as well. But probably we played, um, we played Leeds United Boxing Day at Ellen Road, which was my first club. And then we played Everton in the FA Cup and we won both games in the same week. Didn't you beat Leeds 5 0 or something like that? No, 3 0 we beat Leeds, yeah. At Ellen Road, oh, which was my first time there as a manager. And then in the FA Cup, we played Everton, who were a, obviously Premiership, and we beat them. I think that was probably um, a really good. And we were doing really well at the time. I think we were second in the league with Oldham in the first division. So, But them two results were, um, were probably standout results for me. Um, who, who would you say was the biggest influence on your career as a footballer then going into management? Eddie Gray. Eddie Gray. Yeah, yeah. Eddie Gray. I went to Leeds when I was 17. Um, Eddie Gray was a just become player manager then. Uh, that was a long, long time in the 80s. And um, he put me in the first team when I was 17, 18. He just gave me such a well he believed in me a lot as a young player he gave a lot of young players an opportunity probably something you wouldn't see in today's um, in today's game um, but he gave a lot of players who, who eventually went on to have good careers so uh, the biggest influence obviously I mean, you're, everyone says you're the dad my dad's an obvious yeah. one he watched me when I was really young but I would say Eddie Gray was the biggest influence um, if you could manage any club what would it be now you've you, you were at City, weren't you, when you were young, young one, kid, yeah. and you were a City fan. Um, would, it, would it be Man City? No. If I could manage a club, it would be either Leeds United or Sheffield Wednesday. Decent. So, brilliant. Thank you for joining Thanks me. Thanks very much. Thank you for your time. And, yeah, a pleasure. Thank you.